What's up you guys, this is your boy Beastamon, and we're going to find out all about the Sand People and all about their history. So we're going to give this Crate Dragon Pearl to the Chieftain and hopefully he won't get an attitude. Oh yeah, we have to get a- okay, we have to get, um, right. We have to get HK-47. Gee, I'm doing terrible. Been so eager to get this planet over with. You know what's going to be funny though? I'm pretty sure by the way I'm playing this game that the planet I hate the least, I'm going to do the best in. And the planet that I don't really have a problem with, like Tat... Honestly, out of all the planets, I usually don't have problems on Tatooine. But me do me playing different on this whole playthrough is really weird. Next time, I will stick to my guns. Play the way I usually play, but... Yeah, so we have to go back, and I'm so stupid for not noticing I had to go back, but... Pretty much, this is the only reason why HK is relevant. Which is sad, I think they should have gave him more of a use in this game. Other than the fact that he's used for comedic satire, he's an assassin droid. But yeah, there are times when he does help, but most of them are unfortunately on Tatooine. Just like the only reason you use of uh, T3 and 4 is pretty much on Terrace. They really, when they made this game, they really should have made it seem like he, you know. Because honestly... HK is pretty, well, he's optional. I mean, you don't have to get HK. You can just come in here, rummage through the sand people stuff, and kill them. Or get killed like I did twice. So, we're going to talk to this guy. Yeah, yeah, tell me the history of your clan. He's going to say, nah, I can't, and then... Translation. You have been... Yeah, here's one. Translation. Translation. He yeah, he's stupid fied. I never thought so too, because if it was the first time I was supposed to return, I would have been dead. Translation. He will allow you to meet the storyteller, but also gives a warning. If you dare to repeat the histories incorrectly, you will be killed. Translation. The storyteller will be summoned to one of the rooms here in the Enclave. He seems to think... So here's the funny thing. Translation. This is pretty boastful coming from me and seeing that I got my ass kicked twice, but the sand people in here are the weakest out of all the sand people. Mainly because they stay in the Enclave, so we probably could take them. With that being said, there are sand people outside the Enclave that are tougher, and the ones in the Dune Sea that we fought that are tougher. So yeah, the storyteller, he's right here, you can't miss him. So he's very calm and passive, but he still doesn't like you. I am honored. Let's find out all about them. Translation. Translation. There is only one accepted history, passed orally. Okay, that's kind of bad because somebody. Translation. Well, you played the telephone game. Can be taken away, the value of what so what? We all know the telephone game. If you tell, let's say you tell one person a story. Somewhere along the line, they're going to F up the story. Yeah, oral histories are often inaccurate. Because people like change the stories or they don't hear the words right. Or they don't, you know, orchestrate what happened correctly. So, they're really archaic when it comes to this kind of stuff. That's why written things are often better. But the problem is, as far as written things, it, you know, it brings a question, did somebody make this up still? Yeah, I'll hear it. Translation. The only exception is in continuing the tales once they have begun. If you leave, when you return, he will continue from where he left. Okay, that's important. So, if you listen to Sam people and then you get bored of hearing their speech. And by the way, I am going to be clicking rather fast because all he does is, you know, that noise. So, I'm going to be clicking very fast. If you want to, you know, if you want to slow down the video, you can. But, like, every three to five seconds, I'm going to be clicking. So, with that being said... Here we go. Translation. Translation. It begins with the ancient times. They were not sand people, for there was no sand. The land was See, I told Basila that Anchorhead wasn't always, you know. Actually, whole Tatooine probably wasn't like that. The land was beautiful. They lived apart 
from the land. They built their walls high and saw beyond the horizon. They dared to reach the stars. Translation. There are no words for how long ago this was. It was before the outsiders, before the abduction, before the cities fell, before the... I may keep... I may... You know what? I may... I don't know. I may just, like, not click every three to five seconds because it's HK reading it. But I do have questions. Now, when you ask questions, you want to be careful because any wrong question you ask, HK will warn you. And then if you ask again, and you'll just say, just ask the question. Most likely, you will, you know, infuriate him. And then I guess the whole, you know, this whole conclave worth of sand people will attack you or whatever. Cautionary. I should warn you, Master, that any questioning... Of yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. Clarification. They may Which is pretty stupid. If they're so certain of their history, they wouldn't get mad at somebody else saying something different about it or questioning it. But apparently they must not be sure. Anyways, I want to ask about ancient times. Clarification. It would appear that they once had a thriving technologically advanced society, but were wiped out by a much more sophisticated Pretty much. alien species. Okay, yeah, how how long ago was Tatin? Yeah, I want to know how long. Very much okay. Like Ask him, do these builders resemble a more modern species then? Translation. Translation. He only understands the builders as an iconic force meant to test the resolve. Well, what do you expect? See, this is why oral, hi oral history does not work. Clarification. They claim their stories are repeated unchanged. Because when you write something down, you can describe it. Okay. Okay, let's return to the other questions because. Obedient. Continue where you left off. Translation. Translation. His arrogant people touched the stars, and this sin drew the attention of the builders. The builders did not touch the stars, they lashed them to millstones. Translation. Great demons of metal stripped the world of its riches until all that was left was the green of the ground. The great cities were lifted away. Translation, those that had used the wealth were taken along with it. Transgressors abducted to serve past the sky, seeding the stars with penitent, adaptable slaves. Okay, let's ask a question. I don't really get that, but whatever. Cautionary. Remember yeah, 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 shut up. Clarification. I believe they were occupied by this technologically superior species for a substantial period, stripping an entire planet of usable. How many people were taken off world? Translation. Translation. He has no number. He claims that those that were taken were examples of the worst of his kind, arrogant and undoubtful. That is ironic. Just another distortion due to their demonization of the builders. It's like claiming an aspect of his people were taken, not actual individuals. Clearly, history has colored his view. Of course, only the inferior meatbags were taken. The remaining were his ancestors, after all. But see, here's the thing. Okay, you guys see, there's there's a pattern here. Pretty much, they did what what people in Anchorhead did now in the game. So pretty much they were in they were enslaved and then like everything they had were taken from them. Isn't that just like the same people taking resources from Anchorhead now? There's a pattern here. They're pretty much doing what the people, you know, that's just messed up. There's there's a parallelism that they're pretty much doing what whoever enslaved them did to them. They're doing to the people in Anchorhead now. They're doing to Zerka, which is deserved, but they have no right doing it. And don't suggest that he rethinks it, because that's the kind of thing that will get you killed. I would like to ask that question, but I don't really care why would the invaders have done it. Pretty much the same reason you say you did everything to us, so whatever. Back to other questions. Obedient. Obtain the history where we left off. Translation. Translation. 
translation. There came a time when the builders were also judged. Also, I love that. After generations, a plague weakened them, and the time of the great. Well, that's war what they began. get. Translation: The builders faltered, and his people realized why they had been punished, so that they understood the crime and would now strike down the greater offender. Translation. They worked chaos in the machines, so they destroyed themselves. The builders fought back, laying waste to the green that had been misused with fire from above. Translation, it's like passing down slavery from generation to generation. To the builders to them, and them to Zerka. Well, Zerka's resources. Deep in cave homes carved from valley wall, they were free. Okay. Shut up. HK. The occupying force suffered some sort of species wide plague that lowered their numbers over time. His people used this extended weakness to sabotage. The response of the builders appears to have been to lay waste to the entire surface of Tatooine. Hmm. Yeah, the questions do get harder sometimes. Let's see. Yeah, how did they survive an attack like that? Hypothesis. If his people were moving away from technology for a long time under the builders, they may have... I would also suggest that, given the... I see. Well, I don't really care about the question. I just want her to get this over with. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> um... Obedient. Continue. Translation. <laughs> If I may, Master, this section of his tale details several millennia of the Long Walk, their nomadic wanderings as they accept their identity in a desert world, rather than... <laughs> Even HK think this is going too long. I think it's going on too long. He thinks it's going on too long. Who has the biggest banter and more recent things. Well, I kind of want to hear it all, though. Resignation. Very well. <laughs> That's one of the funny things about this conversation. Translation: The tribes spread far, distant from each other, but all the sand. See, that's okay. The tribes of the sand people split up. That's what I'm saying. So the ones in eastern, the eastern um Dune Sea were tougher than the ones you know closer to the sand people enclave. Outsiders like you that brazenly walked apart from the land, and greater still was the insult to come. Translation. These outsiders reminded them we may have been outsiders, but you, okay, you saying people have done things that are wrong too, and that's why the builders enslaved you the way they did. Looked like their ancient abducted. Translation: So it is to the current sons that the Sand People hate all outsiders and give them no footing. You come again, time after time, adaptable slaves to the machine. Uh huh. I smell, you know, some hypocrisy in the room. Is there anything further? Editing. The last thousand years are full of conflicts with different groups of attempted planetary settlers, all of whom are poorly described, long dead, and likely untraceable. I believe I have truncated it down to the usable bits and Okay, questions about what I've heard. Cautionary. Impatience. <laughs> Names of petty tribal fights in desert so did really master. I'm sure we'll have to discuss this impudence. <laughs> Agreement, of course, master. Just no. Okay, so are we done or clarification? The, op the response. Okay, yeah, we're pretty much done, I guess. Tribes spread far, distant from each other. Translation, then machines fell. Trans Translation, so it is. Edited, I believe I've... Okay, we're done. Translation. Translation. That's pretty much it for the story, and I'm about to reload, because I don't want to get with that crate Dragon Pearl. I need the help. Not even gonna lie. Yeah, I know more about the game than I do about combat fighting. Let me tell you. 
Yeah, it's like what I know probably could feel like a, a dictionary, but as far as combat skills, what I know could probably it it probably can't even make a word in the English dictionary. Let it, let alone a sound. Okay, so pretty much it's time to get off of Tatooine and go to the next planet, which I spoiled. In case you don't know, well, actually, I really didn't spoil anything because we went to the galaxy map and it showed all the other con uh, not continents, no, it showed all the other you know planets. So I really didn't spoil anything, and I said you could do them in any order. So I don't know. Sometimes I like keeping things secrets in, in case you know somebody that never played the game before can, you know, I don't want to give you everything right away, even though pretty much that's what I'm doing, but. So pretty much we're done with Tatooine, yay! We get to go to the next planet, and I'm gonna talk to Juhani a whole bunch. Probably this episode or next episode, I, I don't know, but we need to talk to Juhani. And we're going to cash it next, so maybe Zalbar will have something to say then. And yeah, I do have to level up party members. I'll probably level up these two more likely than not. And I probably will do a status update on what we've done so far. And this game, I guess, is. I don't want to. I think it's like two fifths of the way over or one fifth of the way over. I don't know how you would describe it. But the way I'm going, it's probably one fifth of the way over because I've been messing up lately. And I think now might be the time to talk to Karth if you haven't talked to him. Especially if you're a female and you've got an you know an attitude with them, or if you're a guy and well, pretty much if you're watching right now, you and you pretty much pissed off Basila, you know, you might have blew your chance to get to know Basila better. But that does remind me, we need to go back to the cantina because we are not yet done solving this whole Basila and her mom conflict. So I kind of want to return to the Ebon Hawk because. I'd rather not walk in the desert for, you know, 45 seconds to a minute. Because that's never fun. It's not. Maybe I should screw up more often because, as you can see, I've not been my usual lewd sailor mouth self. So maybe I should mess up more often. It's a good thing, really. Oh, yeah, and by the way, since we're going on Kashik, you will also satisfy, if you go down far enough, you will also satisfy Mission, well, not Mission, but Mission's brother's quest of getting a tag land because that's on, you know, Kashik. And. Oh, this. Now, this guy says we dropped our data pad. Regardless of how you feel, take the data pad. Trust me, you will want to take this data pad. Just take it anyways. If you know, if you play this game before, take it anyway and deal with it when you deal with it. Trust me. So, let's look at the journal entry. We're only looking for a journal entry at this. The Geno Haradon. Okay. So, Manan. Um, I'm not going to be on Manan for a, a few. But, yeah. So, take the data pad anyway. Deal with it. If you don't want to do what he asks you to do, if you, and if you go on Manan and you don't want to do what involves you on Manan, don't do it. But at least take the data pad. Because he's not saying you have to do what's on a data pad. He's just saying, hey, you dropped this. Why keep doing that? Hey, you dropped this. Just look at it, you know. Then if you feel like you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. But saying no just automatically excludes you from the quest altogether. So you won't ever have a chance at, you know, getting something. So we're back in this lowly cantina. And let's talk to Miss Thang here. Because apparently she thinks she's all that in a bag of chips. Back already. Have you even looked for the Yes, you're condescending bitch. I have the Holocron, Mother. I'm just not sure I want to give it to you. And why not? 
Would you deny me? Even yeah, she's definitely Basta's mom. I've denied you anything, mother. You may think I don't remember what it was like before I left for the order, but I do. You were the one who pushed father to go on one treasure. That's right. The other. You love the so. wealth. I don't know. She was just instigating. Fights, you were eager to send me to the Jedi, even though I didn't want to go. You took everything away from her. How could you? How could you, Helena? Wow, fool girl. That doesn't sound right. Way of remembering things. That wasn't. No, I don't wish to argue with you anymore, mother. It's time we parted. No. Maybe you should listen to what she has to say. You don't know her. My mother is notoriously deceptive when she wants something. Why should she have the holocron? Is it too difficult to believe? Oh my God, Basil, you would change the Jedi Council right now. You're letting your emotions get in the way. You're being rude to your mama. I find it difficult to believe anything you say, mother. Maybe one of you should give the other a break. Right. You are a foolish girl, Basil. I just I find it difficult to let go of the past. I, I'm sorry, mother. I was hard on you, dear. You gave her away to the Jedi. What the hell? Of course, you were a bad, mom. Father loved you so. He wanted you to be just like him. He wanted to take you on. Don't just mess around. I don't mind Basil as a Jedi as long as you remember to use stasis. Anyways. Yet you let your husband go on these dangerous expeditions. I always tried to keep him from the dangerous ones, but he would have none of it. It was a reckless life we led. Always moving. I didn't want that for you. So that's why you gave me to the order. What do your father and I have to show for all those years of hunting? Nothing. That was no life for anyone. Especially... Yeah, she's people. gifted, but she still has a spoiled little attitude. He spent all his last years trying to pay for my treatments. That's why he went for the pearls. Well, it's too bad because I got the pearls now. You should have waited. You should have told him to wait. I did not lie about that. See, Bastler, you're a it's jerk a now. She's been... And there's really nothing she's been sick and you've been yelling at her. I told your father to let me go, but you know how he was. Exactly like you. I'm so sorry, mother. Of course you don't. You done badgered her and berated her and. It would do me good to know you have it. This talking to you. This is what I really needed before I. I know. Thank you. I'm glad we talked too. Well, you said you had important business, and you were never one to mince words. You there. You take care of my daughter, you hear me? Yeah, um... Pretty sure she's talking to someone else, but uh... As if she let me, she would never let me take care of her. You make her let you. Okay, I'll make her and then I'll get arrested by the cops. Where are you going to I'll pin her down, slap her across the face, and then get busy with her. And then I'll get arrested. And that's what happens if a man makes a woman do anything. I'll meet you there after, after what I have to do. But I already told you, there's nothing that can... Please take it. I want to see you again, when we can talk. <sighs> All right, I will. You do what you have to, Rastala. You go, make your father and I proud. I'll try. Farewell, my Aw, what a bittersweet ending. You really have some anger issues that you need to work out. Now she's all sad. Oh, mommy, I wish I didn't do that. See, you don't know everything, Bastila. Ooh, the council would have been saying you. They would have just been ashamed of you. Do you feel better now? Yes. That brought me a lot of peace. More than I Chick, please. Have. Thank you for urging me toward it. After all my training, I would have thought it would have been easier. Apparently, I still have Yes, you do. Let's talk some more. How can I help? Why did they sin? Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. I don't, I don't understand. It should have just been me, shouldn't it? Or maybe it should have just been you. Why? I could not accomplish this on my own. I need the aid of others, especially one who is strong in the Force. The bond. You mind raping? Oh, I should have told your mom. I was being nice too. The events on Taurus proved that the Force wanted to bring us together for this mission, and there is little left to chance when the Force is involved. Is that not enough for you? Hmm. If the. F <laughs> oh yeah, first choice. For the win. I said we were brought to And I said it was because of my charm. I hardly think the force would be pushing us toward a romantic involvement when the fate of the galaxy is at stake. Yeah, you said the dark side is hard to resist, so is love. And the council says we're not allowed to do either one. 
attraction when we should be saving the galaxy from Malak. Mutual attraction? I knew you were interested in me. Mutual attraction. You said mutual attraction. I saw you. I saw your lips move. Whatever our feelings. I mean, whatever your feelings. Mm -hmm. Whatever our feelings. You mind rape me? I mind rape you. You don't even know if you like me or not. Getting inside that head. You don't even know what to think. It just seems odd they would send me off without a master to guide me. And then when you say that, she's like, you need to trust in the council. I'm like, oh, please. I admit, there were times that I wondered if this is more than just a mission to stop Malak. There were times when I wondered if this was also a way for the council to test my own abilities. I get the feeling that there's more going on than I know. I wondered if the council wanted to see how I would help and guide you on our quest. Well, you're not helping very much, but you're lucky you saved yourself in the end with your mom because you were like, No, I'm not giving her the holocron. I need this holocron. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. The fate of the galaxy is at stake. The council would not risk it merely to test me. They calculated the risks and in the end chose the only. I don't know about that. I guess that makes sense, but I'm still not convinced. Boop BS, you've been questioning yourself this whole time, Bastila. See, this is that junk I'm talking about, you guys. She's been questioning herself so much, she has me questioning myself. And she's supposed to be teaching me how to be a Jedi. Ain't that some stuff? Me? Oh, you thought this was a big audition for Masterhood. Must you be so frustrating? I admit, I had a moment of foolish pride, but I'm over it. Now I am focused on... I'm simply... What can I say? It's fun. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fun? Driving me insane hey, you mind rape me? I mind rape you. I gotcha. Gotcha. Go get ya. Let's see. Lighten up. I'm only joking. <laughs> you, you are a very odd she can't predict me. I simply don't know how to deal with you. All I want to do is help you, but you seem determined to drive me mad. Complain all you want, but I know you love it. <laughs> the outrage that you keep joking about serious matters. If I should be grateful that you can always lighten the mood. Come on, <laughs> let's move on. There's much to be done. I love Effort Around with Bastila. She's fun. She's just stuck up sometimes and mission nailed it on the head. Which does leave me questioning did this chick really? Did she really slip mi mission up when she tripped her after that conversation they both had? <sighs> I just love messing with Bastila, especially since she loves messing with me. And no, not in that not in that way. I'm probably messing with you guys watching too. You don't even know if I'm saying it in a sexual type of way or not. Well, this time I'm not, so. Yeah, over the past episode and a half, I haven't been as dirty as I normally am. Anyways. Okay. Do, 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 do. I already did that. We listen to as much stories as we can get from the same people. I'm not going to listen anymore. Please tell me we still have that. I think we do. Okay. Just want to make sure I have that. Oh. Oh, I still have desert. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to sell those. I just remembered. Yeah, I still have the Crate Dragon Pro. I had to make sure I still had that. And I'm going to sell those uh, those Dragon Pearls or whatever you want to call them. Because I'm tired of holding them in my party. Well, on my person, really. I'm tired of holding them. So I'm going to get rid of them. I think each one sells for like 500, so that's 4,000 credits, which is really good. There, you know, pretty much you can, I think you can find as many as you want, as long as you re-enter the module outside of, um, Anchorhead. Oh, so he's heard about us fighting a dragon. We didn't do it legitimately. Oh, I'm not selling my dragon pro, you're gonna have to get the hell out of here with that. Okay, so we tell him we have that, and then all you gotta do is go to sell, and then sell the raid plates. Which is annoying, because... 
clearly you have to look for it. Which is not something I'm happy about. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, that wasn't it. <sighs> really? Great Dragon Pearl. Wait. Did I... Did he already take them out, or... I don't know. Oh. Wait a second. Okay, I'm getting lost. Oh, Cell. So... See, this is what I'm talking about. It's really hard to find out whether I have these or not. Jeez. Oh my god, seriously? Oh, here they are. Oh, shoot. I guess that was only for the initial one. Okay. So these things don't sell for crap. Um, I, the first one initially sells for 500 because you got it from that woman. But I guess now you, you know, you don't really get anything for it, which really sucks. So, that's pretty crappy. You only get, you only get a little bit for it. I probably should have tried selling it off plant and I probably would have got more. But whatever. You can still catch, you know, you can still get as many as you want. All you have to do is keep going in and out of that module outside of Anchor Head and kill the four desert raid that are there. And you'll get something for them. Also, I probably should have sold them outside the hunting lodge. If I could, I don't know if I can, but I probably should have did that too. Anyways, we're going back on the ship, and then I'm gonna end the video. And as far as those gizz cut on, you know, the ship, it's going to be at least 15 to 20 episodes probably before we get rid of them. You can also get rid of them right away if you're just tired of seeing them and you want to poison them. I don't think you get dark side points for it, but it's very cruel to do it that way. Alternately, there's somebody on a future planet that will buy them from you. So, Oh yes, and before we go to the next planet, we're going to take a detour because we still have to figure out what is going on with the food rations on the ship. And I'm going to equip uh, my lightsaber before we e end this video, so still got a lot of stuff to do. This game is very full of things to do. So we still have the Gizka. I'm going to give my lightsaber a huge boost because, man, please, I need some freaking help. Shoot. Okay, um, I'm going to end the episode here. In between this episode and the next episode, I probably would just figure out what lightsaber Juhani's holding, you know, equip, you know, her lightsaber with, you know, crystals. But yeah, we have a stowaway problem. I will try to solve that um, as soon as I start the next episode, whenever that'll be. But yeah, this is your boy Beastmon. Next time, um, we will solve the stowaway problem, we'll talk to the crew members, and then we'll go on to the new planet of Kashik, where you will have a lot to say. Thank you for watching and I will see you later.